Housing affordability is one of the big issues of this election, of course. The National Party is the latest to have another crack at it, with a policy aimed at upping home ownership with an extension of its Home Start grant. But this has been criticised as a knee-jerk reaction and misleading because there aren't enough affordable homes, particularly in Auckland. Nats leader Bill English made the policy announcement at the Hobsonville Point yesterday. This is a very large housing development on an old airfield where 20% of homes must be affordable. It's where politicians take you when they want to show you what a success story looks like. So, our reporter, Joanna McKenzie, followed in Mr English's footsteps to find out how the affordable housing is actually affordable there. It's always great to get out and about in Auckland on a fine spring morning. Despite the hail and rain, Hobsonville Point is buzzing with activity and very welcoming to a nosy journalist. First stop was the Jalcon show home. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Here I asked sales specialist Melanie Tracy to do what she does best and sell me on Hobsonville Point. So the schools were up and running before people were living here. There is a 4.8 kilometre walkway around the perimeter, so coastal. There are bridges that are um, in the air so that you can look through the bridges down to the ground below. There is parks right through, so there's 26 hectares of parks. 13 hectares is down on the waterfront where the wharf is going, where the wharf is. There are restaurants, microbrewery, um, cafes going in down there. So what about the affordable homes portion of the development and how would someone using National's Home Start grant get hold of one? We've got a ballot, yes, on Thursday. So far we've got 50 applicants for it that have been approved by Housing New Zealand. The house is 67 square metres in a terrace and an apartment style. So it comes with a good sized bedroom and a study and then the living spills out onto a north facing patio. And how much will that be? $450,000. If you miss out on the ballot, which is part of the government's access scheme coordinated by Housing New Zealand, the property will cost $649,000 and that's above National's Home Start grant cap. Strolling around the streets, I meet Anna Magdalenos with her partner and baby. They bought a house without being part of the access scheme and love Hobsonville Point, but know it comes at a cost. The housing is done to a really high standard, but it is quite expensive. Um, but that's, I guess, sort of relevant for everywhere in Auckland at the moment. Um, when we moved here, we were prepared to pay the amount that we pay just because um, of all the amenities that came with it. You're buying a house, but also this area and the people around it that make it sort of more convenient and comfortable to live in. Next, I meet Deborah Heather, who edits the local paper, and ask her if Hobsonville Point is affordable. I would say no. I mean, I mean, for the average Kiwi family, I don't think this is affordable, really, for any anyone, really. Deborah and her partner Daniel King rented in Hobsonville Point, but have had to move away because of a rent rise. She says she hears from lots of people struggling to get on the property ladder. I get a lot of emails from people also through the paper who are trying to get on the um, access homes and there's obviously a huge waiting list and they just kind of tell me how difficult it is for them. And a business owner in Hobsonville Point who didn't want to be named told me she'd entered six of the affordable home ballots and missed out each time. She gets her hopes up with each ballot and then crashes back down to earth, gutted and still without a home. In Auckland for Checkpoint, called Joanna McKenzie a home.